Yeah. Well, whatever you're seeing is not what you think because I'm just telling you for a fact that. It's your boy Max, back with some sizzling news from the world of 90 Day Fiancé. Today, we're diving into Gino Palazzolo's exciting new job in 2023. You won't believe what he's been up to since his appearance on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days Season 6. Gino, the 53-year-old from Canton, Michigan, fell head over heels for Jasmine Pineda, a 35-year-old single mom from Panama. Their love story unfolded online, and after nine months of chatting, Gino hopped on a plane to meet Jasmine in person. The journey was far from smooth sailing, with heated arguments revolving around Gino's past relationships. But in the end, love prevailed, and the couple got engaged. However, the drama didn't end there. In their relationship, Gino faced some challenges when communicating with Jasmine. Jasmine got a new job, and it seems like her busy schedule limited their conversations. When Gino wasn't employed, he could spend the whole day talking to Jasmine. He even used to send her money to help with her personal grooming, like fixing her hair, teeth, and lips. Gino was seen in the show's intro buying hair extensions for Jasmine, each costing a whopping $320. He might not be into worldly things, but he was willing to go the extra mile for Jasmine. During Gino's stint on 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 Day Season 5, he relied on his savings to support Jasmine. Even though she had a job at the time, she expected Gino to spend more on her than he did on his previous partners. Gino managed his savings wisely, fulfilling Jasmine's needs. But when it came to paying $700 for her apartment, he even contemplated working in the U.S. at a restaurant to provide for her. Unfortunately, Gino faced unemployment due to the pandemic, losing his job around seven months before the show aired. But fear not, my friends, because Gino is now gainfully employed. As he prepares for his journey to Panama, he's juggling a new job as a product development engineer. Talk about a multitasking master. According to his LinkedIn profile, Gino was working at Forishia as a product development engineer located in Auburn Hills, Michigan. He joined the company back in June 2021. Interestingly, Gino had previously worked for Forishia in April 2012 as a development engineer, completing a five-year stint with them. Now, let's talk about Jasmine's side of the story. Unfortunately, she faced some professional setbacks due to a grave mistake made by Gino. When Jasmine learned that her visa approval would be delayed by 30 days, she grew upset and demanded that Gino pays for a new apartment. Tired of moving from one temporary place to another, she wanted to spend her last days in Panama in a luxurious two-bedroom apartment in an exclusive area, costing around $3,000 a month. She wanted to live like a queen, you know? But things turned for the worse when Jasmine lost her teaching job. Gino's ex-girlfriend received some topless photos he had sent and decided to share them with Jasmine's workplace. This scandal led to Jasmine being banned from teaching and believing that Gino had ruined her career. Although Jasmine still asks Gino to buy her things, she feels trapped and dependent on him. Phew, that's a whirlwind of drama, my friends. Gino's got a new job, Jasmine's career took a hit, and their relationship continues to face its fair share of challenges. Will they be able to overcome these obstacles and find happiness together? Only time will tell. Before we wrap up, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Gino's new job and Jasmine's situation? Do you believe Gino is making amends for his mistake? Let me know in the comments below. And remember to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more juicy updates from the world of reality TV. Until next time, stay fabulous, my reality TV aficionados.